What's up everybody, this is Hillbillies here, and welcome back to episode 12 of my game pickups. Sorry again for the long wait, it's just, it just was an extra long work season this year, and I've been a little slow getting into the videos again, so I do hope to be doing this again this winter. Uh, you know, I hope you guys will be there again to watch and comment and everything, and just make it a lot more fun. But uh, I'll get right into this. I've gotten actually uh, quite a few things since the last time. I'll start off with just some stuff that uh, my parents have found up in the attic. Uh, some of my brother's old stuff that he gave to me. Uh, game Boy Secrets book. Uh, these are all like old Game Boy games that we had as kids. So we got the Donkey Kong Land, uh, Donkey Kong Land Two, a Battle Arena Toshikden something. I don't know. Some of you guys might remember Caesar's Palace, just a gambling, a gambling game. Uh, Tetris Attack. It's not too many in here. Another random Tetris game, uh, Army Men Sarge's Heroes 2, and Super Mario Land 2 as well. These are all pretty fun games from back in the day. I remember sitting in the back of the car or whatever on long trips taking it. A uh, Star Trek Next Generations one, but it's got no uh, label or anything, and I, I remember it like that pretty much forever. Uh, there is Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Montana's Movie Madness. I remember trying to play that one a whole bunch of... Not the uh, easiest, for sure. I never actually beat it or anything. I don't think I ever beat any of these. Uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Which is pretty sweet. And uh, Serpert. And yes, it does say Serpert, not Serpent. And I looked that up, and I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. It's just uh, kind of strange. Uh, one thing, too, I guess, in the box is one of those Game Boy Color lights, crappy ones. The old ones, I guess. You know, the ones that drain your battery like crazy. Um, so during the summer, there was like the, they call it a seven mile yard sale here. It's basically just almost everybody in one part of the island here gets together. They all just put up garage sales like for miles and miles and miles, everywhere you go. Um, it takes forever to get anywhere, but you can find some cool stuff. Uh, so I got actually a whole box of stuff here that was probably $10 for the whole box. So I'll show you that stuff first, of course. Um, this one here is just is a separate one, Monster Garage. It came with a console that I bought, but I will show you that after. Um, so I got, no, not all these are amazing, obviously, but for 10 bucks for getting this whole box is pretty great. Uh, PS2 NHL 2004, you know, again, I just like to have the games. I don't necessarily always play all of them, uh, especially the sports ones. Uh, Burnout 3 Takedown, these are all for now PS2. Uh, SRS Street Racing Syndicate. I actually have this on the original Xbox already. Have had it since I was a kid as well. Uh, NASCAR Thunder 2002. I don't mind some of the NASCAR games. It kind of really depends. Uh, Rumble Racing. This one admittedly kind of looks... It's interesting. Uh, kind of looks like little cars just attacking each other. Kind of like a twisted metal, but probably more family friendly, I would say. Uh, what else is in here for? Just games. Yeah. Uh, Galactic Civilizations, just a random PC game. Uh, haven't played it, or it looks kind of complicated, of course. Probably not one that I would maybe play, but possibly my brother. Um, I've got a sealed copy of a game called Darwinia. Not really sure. I, I did look it up at one time, but I didn't really know too much about it. It was made in 2004. Uh, not... I don't know actually anything really about it, so I couldn't really tell you guys. Uh, this obviously I paid only like nine, but this was actually on sale less than that. But it's uh, the bureau, and it's also sealed and whatnot. Uh, paid a couple bucks for that, but that was supposed to be a good game. I like to just keep some of the sealed ones that I find sealed, and then I you know I always find open ones anyways later, so it's not so bad. Um, this is City of Villains. This is like. I actually, I imagine this is some sort of, actually, I don't even know. It's got quite the, uh, quite the character thing on them, all the quick pictures there. I imagine that's all the different characters you can be and whatnot. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I've never actually really played it or heard of it, so I'll have to look that one up later. Um, there is, of course, classic Age of Empires and SimCity 4, some good classic PC games. Yeah, I got some big box ones here, too. Uh, such as Dark Star 1. Never played that game either. It does look alright. It's basically just a, a space shooter, I think. That's the idea. Uh, the Guild 2. It's kind of a... I think it's a... 
third person or something. You run around. It's an RPG of some sort, I think. Uh, Sins of a Solar Empire. It's an RTS. As it says, like, right on the box itself. A lot of these I'll have to try and, you know, set up one day and install on the computer or whatnot. Some really good games. The Brothers in Arms games. Road to Hill 30 and Earned in Blood. Both, again, you know, the box games. They do take up a lot of room, but they're a lot easier to stack up on the computer. Or on the shelves, and they look they look cool. Dungeon Siege 2. I had a copy of this game for the longest time, so having a real... Uh, the box for it and everything is to be nice. It's actually a pretty fun game. Uh, if you like anything like the Diablo games, it's kind of like it. Uh, Lara Croft Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider Legend. Haven't played any of these, but I know people are always saying the Tomb, Ra Ga Tomb Raider games are pretty good. I haven't just had any time to get around to them. Uh, Nexus, The Jupiter Incident, another space game shooter or like planetary exploration of some sort. You know, Probably not that uh, intricate though for back in the day. Imperial Glory, uh, a kind of risk-like game with you can go into battle, you can, you know, have actual battles and see them as well as, you know, be fighting on ships and all that different stuff as you can see. And there is Galactic Civilizations 2. I think uh, my brother's actually playing the more recent one of this. Obviously I've never paid $40 for it, but it came in a big box and that's supposed to be a good game as well. Uh, now the last one that came with that box and the last of the games is Act of War Direct Action. That's a like military style, um, kind of over angled strategy game. Pretty sure. So that was it for those. Like that's that's pretty good. Like I said, for ten bucks for most of those games, except for the one I said I paid. You know, I paid five bucks for for one. Um, and I do have another. Sweet game, the two for uh, what is this? Cybernoid, the fighting machine. This was for the NES. I managed to get talk the guy down from 15, I talked him down to 10, which is good. And just another NES game, you know, whenever I see them and they look different or interesting, I try to pick them up if I can. Uh, but the thing I'm most excited about, I only paid 60 bucks for this, uh, including it came with two controllers, uh, all the hookups, and the Monster Garage game that you saw is a Crystal Xbox. I have seen before, you know, that there were many different kinds, and as a kid I always wanted one. Um, I think they were awesome. Uh, so it's nice to finally have one here. I'm going to take it apart and really properly clean it up. It's in pretty great shape, though. Uh, the guy's, you know, well, taking well, good care of it. Sorry about all the glare, too. It is, you know, kind of crystal and see-through. So it does that. But uh, that's a pretty awesome find. I'm glad to have that at the collection. Who knows? Maybe I can find all the cool different uh, original Xboxes that there are. It's going to take a long time, but it's just one of those things to go hunting for kind of like the old n64s all them different colors and everything so it's pretty cool but uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video um i do apologize again for the long gap in time hopefully i'll be a little bit more regular with my videos i'm not sure what i'm going to start posting with right away um but we'll see if i can start getting back into the groove of thing again so thank you again so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Hey everybody, thanks again for watching this episode. If you have any other interest in watching the previous episode in this series, feel free to click on the link there, or whatever other video I decide to put there, you know, feel free to click on that as well. Or, uh, you know, if you're so inclined, click on the uh, circular subscribe button to uh, subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching. See you next time.